Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about what you have to do once you become a licensed real estate agent here in the state of Florida and in the state of Michigan as well because I'm licensed in both states. Right now I'm taking, taking a little break from my day and I'm headed to the pool here at my condo, but I wanted to cover what you have to do once you become a licensed real estate agent and you really do have options, okay? You don't have to go with uh, with just whatever brokerage you go and you, you interview first. I do suggest you interview quite a few brokerages just so that you can see because when I started real estate, I jumped right in and I started with Brookshire Hathaway. And you don't really know this, but you are the one that's in control, okay? You, anybody is basically gonna sign you up for you to sell real estate with them, okay? That's just how it is. Um, you're gonna sign up with them, there's gonna be desk fees, there's gonna be, um, you're gonna have to cover your, your split with your brokerage uh, and your cap, okay? So the split is basically when you get a commission check, your brokerage is gonna get a certain percentage of that commission check or whatever split you're on. It could be a 70, 30, 80, 20. I'm with EXP Realty now, so now I'm at an 80, 20 percent split, and it's like that across the board. There's no secret deals behind the scenes. Like when I was at Brookshire Hathaway, it started off with a 60, 40 split, which was really, really bad, and I didn't know that going into real estate, so hopefully this video helps you and helps you not get taken advantage of. Um, but then you have people that, that start franchises, they get their brokerage license and they'll start a franchise uh, with like Keller Williams, uh, Brookshire Hathaway, uh, Remax, and you have to have a bunch of money to do this, right? And, and I don't really, I'm not really gonna get into that because that's not, that's not what this video is about, but I'm with eXp Realty and there is no franchises. So when you sign up, with EXP, you're gonna name somebody as your sponsor, and not all sponsors are created equally. Make sure you do your research on that. And you basically, like I said, there are no franchises. So you can be, you can grow your team anywhere you want in the United States uh, and in multiple different countries now. We're all over the, the nation. Just like recently I had somebody sign up with me that lives part of the year in Paris and is a licensed real estate here in Florida where they come to um, for half the year. So they're gonna be with me. And so I've basically formed an international brokerage just because she lives in Paris. And she is gonna tell other agents in Paris about EXP and we're going to start building her organization so instead of franchises here at exp we have different little groups basically and instead of there being franchise fees what usually used to go to the franchise to the big guy at the top now when you pay your your percentage up to your sixteen thousand dollar cap a percentage of that goes to the seven people above you so it's structured a little differently here than a normal um, traditional brokerage which is works out great for real estate agents uh, real brokerages basically uh, are there to make sure that you you know file follow all the rules and you're in compliance with all your forms and everything like that and they give you training well a, a normal brokerage do you think that the guy that's at the top selling 300 homes a year is gonna reach out to you and tell you how to sell 300 homes a year probably not trust me they don't because I was with Brookshire Hathaway like I said I started off there and I wanted a mentor that sold that kind of that did that kind of production and they couldn't find me a mentor like that well at eXp Realty it's a little bit different because uh, basically like I said how you have little groups everybody in your group wants you to succeed because when you succeed they all succeed so the training at, at EXP isn't like at a traditional brokerage. You can get that person that has 300, that sells 300 homes a year to basically tell you his secrets, unlike a traditional brokerage. So when you're thinking about where you should sign up, just look at the fees, look at the training, look at what you get from the company, 
and make your decision wisely. Don't be like me, just jump in the first brokerage that you talk to, which was Berkshire Hathaway. For me, do your, your research. All right, so I will talk to you guys later and hopefully this video helps. Talk to you soon. I realized that I forgot to mention, if you have any questions at all about any of the brokerages out there, feel free to put them in the comments below or reach out to me directly. And if this was your first time to this channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so that you're notified whenever I release a new video. That being said, guys, have an awesome day and talk to you guys again soon. Bye.